バイトが最後に救った女だ<笑>マキ泣いてるオルマイトお願い You guys are not gonna make me cry. I refuse to cry this episode. I refuse. Hi, everyone. I'm going to react to My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 25 No Man is an Island. And last episode was Ochako giving this powerful speech to all the people inside UA and them giving Deku, them reaching out to Deku and basically accepting that he stays with them.、Uh, The school and whatnot, and then you had All Might leaving the school, and then you see Stan looking in,、uh, after him or whatever. I'm like, What are you about to do? I don't know. <sighs> Stan hasn't done anything ever since he's, ex- he's escaped、um, Tartarus, but、uh, um, uh, I don't know what he's gonna do, man. So that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and、uh, please consider supporting my Patreon. I appreciate that. Come slash if you have any here. Now let's start this episode. And here we go.、Um, I have been watching、uh, six episodes of My Hero in one day. So it's like my eyes are like red, like all throughout these episodes because I just, it's just been like almost non stop crying. So yeah. <laughs> You know, when I was、um, Stars and Stripes, the number one hero from the United States of America,、uh, and then she's like, My master's in trouble and she needed to go. And when I, for some reason, my mind went to the, the movie <laughs> where、um, there was this the guy that used to、um, make. Support Adams for All Might. Like that movie where they were on not on a vacation, but they went, I think it was to the United States or something. Him and Deku went, but then the other kids also showed up. And、um, there was the daughter that was blondish or something. I don't know why my mind went to her. Like maybe she was the one that was the number one hero, but I'm like, wasn't she just sort of like, also, did she have a quirk? I don't know, man, but that's who my mom went to when I thought about when she said my, my master. I don't know. She looks like a female version of All Might. <laughs> that's what she looked like to me. So I'm excited to see、um, what she can do. And then they also showed these other two heroes,、um, Salam, who's sort of like an Egyptian looking person, and then、um, Big Red Dot. Was he a dog? A lion, I don't know either way. They also want to go, they're tired of being held back because of paperwork and stuff.、Uh, Star and Strap didn't care about that, she just went. <sighs> I'm so glad this episode wasn't that there wasn't much crying. I, I, I was about to cry during that scene. You know, last episode ended with、um, All Might leaving the school, right. And Stan looking after him, and I'm like, What are you about to do? And then All Might wound up where his statue was. You know, he was feeling like dejected and everything. And then Stan showed up, and it's like, Who are you? You're not All Might. He's like, I'm All Might. He's like, No, I don't believe that you're fake. And I, I knew, like, I knew Stan knew. That that was actually All Might. And I knew that he wasn't talking about the fact that this was the physical form of All Might, but it was his mental state. That's what Stan was saying the, that he was fake, you know, because he wasn't acting like the All Might, they know the All Might that always had a smile on his, on his face, no matter what was happening, that would always be, you know, giving people, you know, that, that drive, that, You know, when you look at All Might, even if he's in his,、um, you know,、uh, small form or whatever, he still gives off this air of everything is going to be okay. But in this particular, during this particular episode, that wasn't the All Might that Stan was seeing, you know. So when they were there and it looked like Stan was about to kill him or something or other, or.、Uh, Like that, but then he just like pulled All Might behind this statue and just let All Might see this woman, this woman that he saved. 
the very last person that he saved. This one was going there and was just like, all those people that kept painting or whatever, all my son here, she would go there every day and basically claim the statue back up because it's a sacred ground for all my you know oh, i love how much stain is all is an all might fanboy as well you know he's the only hero that he acknowledges as being a true hero a true good person he's the only person that he trusts among all the heroes and the fact that he's the one that basically reminded all might of who he is and who he had inspired all these kids to become I love that man like I really do and then before he left he gave him this information and it turns out that he got that information from this particular person like when the breakout at Tartarus was happening he was like okay what's happening I also love <laughs> should I be saying that I love that either way there was this villain that was uh running away like girls 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 or whatever and he just killed that villain <laughs> He just went about his way, like, you know, staying. <sighs> he wants an ideal world. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not like he's a villain f for the sake of becoming a villain. You know, like it's not like he kills people because he loves to kill people or um, he's just a bad person and he wants to kill the heroes. That's not really what he wants. What he wants is a world where true heroism reigns, you know, where, uh, yeah, where true hero heroism reigns. It's not like he agrees with, like, he's with the villains, you know. He's not with the villains. He's against those heroes that are just not being really heroes that are fake heroes he wants a true society of whatever either way so that's why he killed that dude because it's like you're not gonna bring anything good to this world then he killed him and then he went after all my tried to revive all my because they need all might in this, this hero society world or whatever and he just gave him the information that he needed and what was that i was talking about how he killed that dude and then he was, he said he was looking for information. And then he came upon this person and he was holding on to this case that really tightly. And he's like, hmm, why are you holding on to that? And he figured that this was something important. The guy did not want to leave it because he wanted it to be given to someone that's just, and excuse me, and Austin promised him that he was going to give it to someone just being all might and that's what he did he gave it to all might and then he told all might to come after him later and, and kill him because he killed 40 heroes uh, what was that thinking about and then i started smiling oh forget the frack yeah when um all might said that during the whole time that he's been all might he's been the number one hero he has never stain has never approached him but now that he's not, there he is, you know. And that's because he's been letting All Might do his thing. All Might is a true hero. And he's been in support of him this whole time. So why would he show up in front of All Might and all that, you know. If he was Endeavor, he showed up before Endeavor before. So I don't know. So he gave me the information and then he left. And meanwhile, <laughs> I love that bath scene. <laughs> The way they dragged Midoriya into the bath. That's funny. Um, and they, they took a bath. And um, <laughs> that part as well where um, Bakugo was about to say Deku. But then he stopped himself and he's like Izuku. And then um, Deku is like, uh, you don't need to try to force yourself or something to say my name. He's like, I'm going to do nothing. It's impossible for me or something or all that. Oh, I love it. So after they took the bath and everything, they were telling Deku to go to sleep. But he's like, I can't go to sleep because I need to talk to All Might and apologize to him for the way I behaved and everything. But I don't know where he is. And then All Might is just like right there. And he came in and All Might apologized um, to Deku. And then the others were like, you should apologize to us too. And all, and all that. But then Deku also like apologized and told him that the pork cutlets or whatever was so good and why not so well they apologize you know 
Now they're all good with each other. But then Omar said he had to go. And he go he went and gave the information to the people. They were under the impression, okay, this based on what Lady Nagon said, two months from when they escaped Tartarus, they were supposed to bring half of one not half of one, um Deku to this place, right? So they were it's been a little bit over a month since then so they were under the impression that they had a little less than a month for shigaraki and alpha one to be ready but based on the information they got from the memory storage devices during the escape the fact that alpha one was communicating with shigaraki using those radio waves they were able to decipher the radio waves and basically it was saying that all for one instead of them having a few weeks now they only have three days for all for one to be ready so it's like yeah. um now because of that well they've been wanting help from other heroes b before they knew that that was gonna happen but now they are even more pressed for for time for heroes to come and help you know um and meanwhile Deku is where well, he had a bedroom and then he woke up and was started using his black whip but then they're like you okay you fine and yeah oh, I just love the fact that now everybody's together and he feels even though they have this huge battle in front of them he doesn't feel afraid anymore because he has his friends around him. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's how it's supposed to be. You weren't supposed to leave the school. I understood why you did that. And you made us go through this journey of emotional roller coaster. But now you're back to being where he's be he belongs and with his friends and everybody. And you're like, I'm just so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. And I know the fight ahead is not going to be easy, but... He's not going to do it by himself. He has his friends all with him, you know. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Was there anything else that happened this episode? Uh, let me scroll through real quick. Um, not really. So, that, that that's basically it. I'm just, I'm looking, really looking forward to, hopefully, people, I was say, hopefully people won't die, but... They're bound to die. <laughs> Some people are bound to die. Hopefully it won't be people that I'm emotionally at attached to. You know? And I'm really looking forward to what Star and Strap can do. And the other heroes that are coming in from the other countries and stuff. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to Season 7. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to whatever is going to be replacing my Hero Academias... You can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash me and you can also see the full length of this reaction and all my previous My Hero Academia reactions there as well. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Together we made it. We made it even though we had our backs up against the wall. Come on. Aha.